don't know what that. anyone's doing with the pronouns anymore. I can't even pretend. You know, to know. it used to be. <laughs> 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 Speak on it. What yeah, did it used hey. to be? Speak on what it used to be. Hey, back in the day, yeah. you and used to just. Uh huh. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Why do you think you got SNL over me? Huh? What do you? <laughs> <laughs> we auditioned at the same time. We did audition at the exact what do you same think? time. What did I do wrong? Mm. What characters did you do? Stand up. You did stand up. I just did stand up. You did characters. No, I did stand up as well. <laughs> I shouldn't have done the same stand up set as you. That was a yeah, mistake. Yeah, that was the thing. We both went. We talked. We did that bit about the cops. Yeah, we both did that. How bit we about, love them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, shout out to the people. Yeah, shout out to the people. Though, I guess. Big Blue, let's go. Big Blue. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Big Blue. Love everything y'all doing in the community, man. Keep that. Keep that up, man. <laughs> Keep that up. And we and Caleb both got a joke where we say that exact stuff verbatim on People think on you're stage. kidding, but you do love the cops. <laughs> you fuck with the police in a very serious way. You know what? You know what's funny? No. Tell no, me what's that. funny. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me what's funny. No, you know. No, no, no. Have you? I don't know. Do How do I? No, I don't like the cops, of course. But... <laughs> No, hey, hey, I was, see all you know, I, was, I was trying to think about like my I, I was like, what's my actual you know my relation like New York City cops feel so much more chill than like cop like I grew up in Texas, you know this. I do know this. Like cops were so much Flugerville. Whoa. Shout out Flugerville. Okay, you did a little you did Shout a, out Flugerville. You did a little you did a little research. Flugerville slash Austin. Ah, Shout out. You did a little you did a little You think research. this is a joke to me? No, I okay. We you on your Nardwar type behavior. <laughs> I see, I see that my guy my guy got on the Wikipedia. Yeah, the cops in Texas are a little <laughs> different. They were in cowboy hats. The cops in Texas, to me, cops are so much less scary when they can't pull you over. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like in New York City, I'm never driving. So like when I, like all the cops here are also on their phones. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're playing games. Yeah, they're truly playing games. They feel very distracted. So like I don't. I, I don't feel nearly the same way about New York City cops as I feel about Texas cops or just yeah. Southern cops in general. Because Eric cops Adams were, is like shutting down libraries so that these guys can play Candy Crush. You know, no, it's truly, yeah, truly like they're dude, in my, Central Park. Just my fucking... boys are just he neck down, yeah. neck down. Just <laughs> I'm like y'all, y'all can't do an atrocity. You yeah. guys can't do something bad. You're... No, New York City police have never really done anything bad. They've always been on the up and up. Huh? That's what I always say. Yeah, that's, that's been your say. big thing. As far as I know, <laughs> as far as I know. And when I and when I run for mayor, that'll be my platform. I would love for you to run for office. Oof. I'd vote. I don't think people want that. Really? I don't know enough about things. You're gonna. I could actually see you being a political figure one day. Though. Stop. I could actually see it. You know, it's why I went. I went and hung out with Caleb in Kansas City earlier. This and this, this man's the like actual. He's like the unofficial mayor of this. Have you ever been to? Oh yeah. Yeah, and he's like he knows about all the politicians yeah. and all the new bills that are coming in, and he's like, nah, we actually can't trust that guy. He did this last week, and I'm like, well, you. <laughs> <laughs> You said, are you coming to this party tonight yeah. at a known, like, bad billionaire's house? Because sure. that's the kind of people you run with. And, <laughs> and which is no offense. I totally get it. But you said you come with this. I said, no, I probably won't be there. You know what it is? You know what it truly And I don't doubt that he was a bad billionaire. But it's like, look, if somebody's going to invite me to a big ass house, I'm going to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go check out the trophy. You know what I'm saying? Case. I'm going to look at I'm not going to endorse their politics, but it's just like, I'm going to look I'm gonna look at their bathroom and see how they're living different than me. Yeah. I want to see what their tub look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are your politics? Who are you voting for? <laughs> Who are you voting for come November? Hey, you know, I'm, I'll be on the same side as everybody that listens to this podcast. Really? That's the answer. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't you, know. What is, how do you feel about politics? They make you uncomfortable? No. <laughs> how do you, come on. Uh, uh, I don't, yeah, no, I don't. I feel like you're pretty apolitical. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not apolitical. I just, um, man, wow. I, I didn't think we were gonna go. Good here. people on both sides. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. If if anything, it's just like I mean, I think much like you in Kansas City, it's just like we got to get involved locally. Yeah. You go, and I'm not really doing that, but like I, I do have opinions. Yeah. And I do know that that is like something that I need to get. So I'm not apolitical. I'm lazy. Yeah. That's actually the situation. That's most of the country. Exactly. Yeah, that's a really huge... I think, actually, it's funny to me, like, when people talk about the center of the country, a lot of times they're like, oh, everyone's Republican. I'm like, most people are checked out. Yes. Most Nobody, people, they don't give a fuck. Most people know a thing that they, like, an article that they read online, and then they kind of base everything off of that. If even. Going going forward, yes. If even. I think, like, most of my family, genuinely, if I was, if I were to list, like, 
and this is not an insult. If I were to list like 10 major things in the culture wars that happened recently or like in the news, mm -hmm. they'd be like, oh, that's crazy. I didn't yep. know any of that. Mm -hmm. Like they're just not, they're like, I've got bills to pay. So yeah. I'm not really. Not focused on it. Yeah. Everybody's I'm not worried about trying that. to get by. Yeah. Ultimately. And I think that, see, this is why you should run. Y yeah. You got a good perspective on things. Because I'm just like, hey, we all just trying to do it. Yeah. We all just trying to hang out. You're like, you're like, y'all, everyone relax. <laughs> I'm but lazy. You could be lazy. It's crazy. Nobody's run on that sort of platform. I will. Everyone relax. I've been saying. Could you see? Could you see yourself running for some sort of office one day? God, I don't know. You know, if um, I mean, if my country needed me, you've thought it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're going national. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I see. Okay. If my entire I, country I, needed me. Okay, yeah. You're going. If the country needed you, yeah. I, I, I was talking about the Greater Kansas City you area. You thought the low youth. Okay, so you thought like an alderman. Kinda, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have alderman in Kansas City. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I don't, I really don't think so. But I do think that, uh, it was my plan originally. Right. Yeah, I was planning on being in, in politics. politics. Yeah. I worked in politics. I worked campaigns. I thought I was going to go to law school and be mm -hmm. like a politician for sure. Yeah. I don't want to, but yeah. I do think it's, it, it shocks me how much people on the left are fumbling at politics. Yeah. The le the liberal progressive policies win every single time. You look at like the polling in Florida right now. Yeah. Kamala's polling, you know, 17 points behind Trump or something like that, mm -hmm. which you would expect from Florida sure. since Obama. Uh, and she's polling so far behind him, but there's a, a pass weed initiative that's polling at 70%. Hmm. 70 to 30. Yes, that I do feel like this is very common. Where yeah. It's like, yeah, it's just the idea of the left makes people be like, no, 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 I'm not with that stuff. But then when you actually dig into the policies, people are like, oh, Every yeah, time. that's awesome. Yeah. Every time. They I'll don't like we. us because yeah. we're annoying. Sure. But they like our policies. And they're right, by the way. Yeah. Leftists are annoying. Yeah, it's true. I'm seeing people do a uh, discourse about Tim Walls right now, the governor of Minnesota, yep. that he shouldn't be the VP because he didn't go to an Ivy League school. Really? It's a real discourse that I'm seeing. Oh, I didn't know about this. Yeah. And oh. I'm like. What school did he go to? He went to like uh, University of Minnesota, Man Mankato or something. What do you say? Shadron as well. Shadron yeah, he State. went to a couple because okay. he's got a couple. But it's like that's a that's an that's a plus. Yeah. But people on the left, it, there's a lot of elitism going on over here. Sure. But yeah, I mean Kansas codified abortion. Like Kansas passed yeah. abortion. Like the shit like that where it's like, yeah, I don't I don't desire to be a politician. I think it's the worst job in the world. <laughs> but I do desire for people who have leftist ideals to like. Uh, chill the fuck out mm -hmm. and just talk about the messaging, mm -hmm. which I think Tim Waltz is doing, which is kind of cool. Okay. we got a pro Tim Waltz. I like Tim Waltz okay. a lot. I like Andy Bashir's just fine. Okay. Um, Josh Shapiro, the VP thing. I don't know when this episode's coming out, so this might all be moot, but <laughs> just school vouchers are a problem for me. Sure. School uh, vouchers I don't like. Oh, sure. Like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Private schools yep. and like uh, subsidizing only private schools and leaving public school kids to fail. It's silly. Yes. You have a master's degree. You got a master's in what? Organizational something. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm no I know about Devin. This is not this is not the stuff I thought I was gonna talk I about, about on here. This I is wanna none know about of, your master's degree. None of this stuff is what I, I did not think I was gonna talk about being the, my, my political beliefs and yeah. uh, going to grad school. Yeah, well, cause you think I know what you think of me. You think <laughs> You think, what do I? What do think, I? Think, tell me what I go, think of you. Oh, you go. Oh, my friend Caleb. He's just this big, dumb, goofy guy. He's just this clown. He's this silly. Mm -mm. He's this goober. Mm -mm. He would never take me to task on the issues. No. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. He would never. He would never take me to task. I mean, look. Here, let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. I went to grad school. I went to a grad program that I truly think was like a scam. I do truly think it was a scam. I do have a master's degree, but like what did I actually come away with? Yeah. Who's to say? Who's to say? Everybody that I went to grad school with is like a management consultant now. Like uh, Deloitte or like uh, McKinsey. Yeah, but like, but like lower paying, less prestigious ones. That's tough. Yeah. To sell out and not even get the bag is crazy. No, it's still a bag, but it's like, you know, a Texas bag is like, you only need like 80K to live a really beautiful life. I don't I know it. You know what I'm saying? Don't I know exactly. It. Like, if you go back to where I grew up, like, you could really, I could have been a homeowner already. Yeah. Instead of, you know, living the way I'm living. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't own in New York? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who has less than a billion dollars <laughs> truly can't. Do, yeah, no, not not quite. I'm getting close. Yeah, I'm getting close. I've My been say, I've been saying on stage I'm gonna sell out soon. And once I, once what? I once I do that, I think you already did, didn't I? See you doing some Jack Daniels okay partnerships. It was it was, <laughs> it was Captain, Morgan, Captain Morgan, and that's and that's a delicious spice rum. <laughs> That's a delicious spice rum. They've got a new, they've put a new ingredient in the vanilla that's actually making it pop. And it's actually something that's so easy and light, you could drink it over ice. 
Not to mention a variety of cocktails that are listed on <laughs> CaptainMorgan.com. <laughs> They need to send you another check immediately. I would like that actually. Post haste. I would like to get because because that I didn't ran through that bag already. Yeah. And we, Captain Morgan, let's let's work again. Also, Sprite. Any you know any sort of any of you guys who want to talk, let's have a conversation. Captain Morgan Sprite. Well, I'll go ahead. Shout out the other brands. Who are you wanting to hear from? Sprite. Uh, let's say uh, Pizza Hut. Um, really. Yeah, I grew up in a Pizza Hut household. Yeah. Which is uncommon. I feel like most people don't. Did I'll you? tell you, we were a Pizza Hut household. You were a Pizza Hut household? We were because. See, I knew I, see, I, there, knew was something I, was, going I knew there was something going that's on. That's the one thing. Yeah, we have that's, a, the main, that's, that's what makes this that work. That is the main thing. Well, do you remember Pizza Hut back when they had the like, the fucking like Pizza Hut chandeliers? Of course. In the restaurant? This is some of my earliest memories. In the little buffet? Yeah, we had a little buffet. There was one right by the high school in the town in, in Pflugerville. Pflugerville. In if we, please, if anybody from Pflugerville, I want to become like like what you are to Kansas City. I want to be to Pflugerville specifically. I don't want to be like, Should I don't want to. pretty easy. I don't want <laughs> I mean, is there you know, a lot going on over there? You know, okay. <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay, whoa, hold on, hold on, whoa, hold on. Whoa, I'm just whoa. saying. They shot, they, look, they shot the TV show Friday Night Lights at my high school. Damn. From, did y'all see? Yeah. Damn. Those, the jerseys, the uniforms, those are literally our high school football jerseys. Wow. Like, I, I can't tell you how many people in my life I've made watch the pilot episode, because that episode has, like, real people that I, like, grew up with in it. Yeah. And, like, football coaches from our school. And, like, there's a lot of, like, cameo, like, the... Look, the high school football star from like when I was a freshman and he was a senior, he has like a little cameo. And I remember the whole town was like, no, nah, that's fucking, that's Antoine Cobb. Yeah. That's Antoine. Antoine, if you're listening. Antoine, see, shout out. I see you. I see you. I'm just saying Pflugerville. Yes. I, I don't, I, I have a lot of competition in Kansas City. You do. If I want to be a KC Because I went to that event. And I it's mean, like, it's Sudeikis, it's Stone Street, it's Rudd, yeah, it's Riggle, it's yeah, Heidi Gardner, yeah. it's Janelle Monet. Oh, really? Janelle Monet, Kansas City girl. I didn't know that. Shout out, Kansas mm. City they. I don't know what they're doing with the pronouns sure. these days. Mm -hmm. But shout out, Janelle, whatever you're up to with the shout pronouns. Shout out to Janelle. Uh, I Kansas City, there's that. a lot. Pflugerville, I'm thinking you might you might have an easier lane to the the crown. That is true. That is true. You know who you know who I learned is from Pflugerville, and maybe you went to my high school. The um the guy who is the Asian guy who is in Try Guys. Oh, Eugene. Eugene. I forget his last name. Their last name. What are they doing with the pronouns? Can't you don't know what that. anyone's doing with the pronouns anymore. I can't even pretend. You know, to know. it used to be. <laughs> 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 Speak on it. What yeah, did it used hey. to be? Speak on what it used to be. Hey, back in the day, yeah. you used to just. Uh huh. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so you really only got to eliminate one person. Yeah. To get to two seventy in Pflugerville, I got to beat him out. Yeah. The I got to the throne. Is... I got to beat him out. Eugene, if you're watching, I'm coming for that ass. Yeah. I'm oh. coming for it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, you know, hey, whatever you know, it takes. You know what I'm saying? Another, th you know what I'm saying? If I was on a different type of show, they'd be like, oh, pause. Like, what? I'm not, we're not, we don't do that here. Yeah. No, no this show, my show, I'm f cool with gay people. <laughs> Have never mind them. I think they're a lovely people. I'm not on board with that type of mentality, but. Yeah. No, but I. But you have mentioned that several times <laughs> in private. You have several times in private mentioned to me that you don't like when I do gay stuff. I gotta stuff. stop yeah. talking like this. Yeah. I gotta stop talking like this on a recorded line. Yeah. I gotta stop. It, this is going out. Yeah, no. I know. People will see it. And not for nothing, the show has listeners. Yeah, that's what I. It, it, gen, genuinely, my girlfriend, genuinely, she's been, she keeps, like, on multiple occasions, she's been like, Caleb's podcast is blowing up. <laughs> She and I pay it, her to say that. She said it apropos of nothing. She'll just like be on her phone. She'll be like, Caleb's podcast is really big now. Zoe. <laughs> she wants me. She wants to be friends. She Probably. wants to be my bestie. You're, I mean, you're lovable. You're lovable. I feel like everybody. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I try. I try. really try. What did I talk about? I did, I did my why did you get SNL over me joke. You didn't really want to run with that one. I tried to talk about your grad school. You shut that down pretty quick. You did love talking about the cops. That was a real moment. Shout out to the boys. The boys. <laughs> the boys in blue. The boys in blue. Uh, Y'all doing it. Fluger, would you move back to Texas ever? I would like to. In like my dream scenario, I'd like to like, I'd like to have a place here and then have like a place with some land back home. Austin. Uh, I don't know if I move back to Austin. Austin is kind of like, it's just you know, it's it's lost a little bit of its charm for me. Yeah. I think it's uh, when I was growing up, it was like a real college town, and now it's like a tech hub. Yeah. In a way that I think I might want to get away from. But I'm going to wait and see. You know what's actually kind of sweet is like my, my best friend is still back there. And I kind of want to see where he settles down. And I think I'm going to do a little I, I, compound I, situation. Exactly. Ride gators back and forth. Ideally. Dude. Ideally. That's what I'm trying to do. I wish we had gators. We need to get you a gator. 
We need to get you some land. Oh, you're talking about okay. I, never mind. You're talking about alligators. I was talking about an I was talking about an actual you were alligator about the first, alligator. like what they have in Florida, and then yeah. I realized you're talking about sort of like a. Like That's a, my bad. I thought like, I was with a country boy, but I I realize now I'm, I'm, with, a, I'm, I'm with a city I, slicker. I'm really I'm 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 suburban is what I really am. No worries. I'm sub I'm suburban. I like I grew up adjacent to the country, but not in it. Yeah. Also, like I don't you know for for there were country black kids where I grew up, but like my parents are both not from the country, so I think they were. We They're weren't like, doing. We're not really trying. Though. I like. I grew up next to kids who were mudding, but I wasn't mudding. <laughs> you were yeah. you were you mudding? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's just been probably. <laughs> it's been probably ten years yeah. since I've heard someone say mudding. Mudding. Mm -hmm. That is so yeah. funny, mm -hmm. dude. Mudding. We're going mudding. We're God going mudding. Damn, which, that's for, funny. For the people who don't know what mudding is, <laughs> it is it is literally like a like a dude who was wearing Carhartt before it was popular would get inside of a truck and then like when it was like after it had rained and then would just drive around in a field yeah. and just get mud all over his truck. Yeah, kick and it up. Yeah, and just the mud would splash up and then you went mudding. You went mudding. That was a whole experience. Damn. Yeah. Well, we're trying to get all mud on the tires, Brad Paisley. You got <laughs> You might know. I, I don't know that one. You I'm know sorry. that one? I don't know that one. Get a little mud on the tires. It's a good night. Be out here soaking up the moonlight. Y'all know. Yeah, Jordan, I got the perfect place in mind. Come on, mm, mm. you don't know this one? No. Why are you looking Brad like Paisley? I'm just looking? Why are you? Why are you sounding surprised that Brad, I don't no, know no. Deep Cut Brad Paisley? This is not Deep Cut Brad Paisley. Oh, I'm sorry. Brad oh, it's Paisley. one of the hits. I'm sorry. This is one of the hits. Brad, my bad. That's on me. Do you know what my favorite Brad Paisley song is? I would like to know. I would love to tell you about it, please. Because it's very. It's one of the one of my favorite types of country music is funny country music. Yeah. And Brad Paisley made some of the funniest. Okay. And he made a song um, that was like, well, I love her, but I love to fish. Yes. And then he goes on to be like, basically his the story is the girlfriend in this song is like, you either need to stop fishing or I'm going to break up with you. Okay. Yeah. And he's like, um, he's like, she said if I hit that fishing hole today, <laughs> she'd be gone by 12. Uh -huh. And he says, well... I'm going to miss her. And then he, he, comes on and he sings a whole song about how he chose to go fishing over his girlfriend. I love that. That's amazing. I really love that because it's the, like a parody of a country song, but he did it really earnestly. Oh, he means it. Yeah. Yeah, he means it, and people what, love it. What about uh, Tequila Makes Her Clothes Fall Off? Did that By do Joe Nichols? Did that do anything for you? Yeah, brother. Okay. Yeah, brother. <laughs> tequila Makes Her Clothes Fall Off. Joe, Everything Joe Nichols did. Uh, what else was he up to? Oh, Joe Nichols did... Um, um, I think the devil drives a coupe devil. Okay. I watch him drive away over the hill. I not expect you guys to be locked in on country music in Come this on. way. Come uh, on. Okay. I see. Joe Nichols, Joe Nichols is that guy. Joe, if you're listening, and I know you are. Yeah, he will be. I love, love, be. love what you were up to for about five years there. What about where are you at on Honky Tonk but Donkey Donk? Honky Tonk but Donkey Donk, you have only slightly lost me. Okay. Because what Honky Tonk but Donkey Donk. It feels like it's in the in the range of what we're talking about here. <sighs> yeah, Honky Tonk, Tonk, but Donkey Donk really mobilized guys I didn't like in a way that, of course. you know. That's it, how I feel about country music at large. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about country music just sort of in a, in a general sense. Yeah, as yeah, a, as yeah. As a boy, as a black boy who grew up in Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really complicated relationship with the art form. Really? Because, like, yeah, and the one, because, like, you know, it's like, it's like Republicans where it's like, on one hand, it feels like it's frightening, like it's going to take my rights away, but also it feels like home. You but know I am tapping mean? my foot. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's like, look, man, look, when that, when, when some, when, uh, fucking, uh, what's the song? Friends in Low Places, when the, for when the, when the opening strum of Friends in Low Places come on, I showed up in boots. Woo! Ooh! And ruined your black tie. You better, there. you better, dude. Garth Brooks. Last one to know. Come on. The last one to show. I was the last <laughs> one you thought you'd see there. And I saw the surprise. It's a little breathy. And the fear in his eye. <laughs> right. As I took his glass of champagne. Yeah. And not toasted you. Right. Honey, will baby through. Right. But you'll never hear me complain. Go ahead. Tell him. I got friends in all places. Come on. You don't know anything about that. <laughs> sing it word for word. Sing, sing every single <laughs> word. Sing the whole thing. Hey, you don't know nothing about that. You don't know anything about that. You don't know anything about Garth Brooks. No, I feel you. See, I mean, 
There's a handful of country songs that really kind of kind of send me. I will say that. But same thing with being not same thing. Uh, being gay, being gay in the country <laughs> as well. Sure, sure I'm sure, like, sure, sure. I know what you mean. When those guys get a little too animated, I go. You're like, ah. Yeah, I, I'm like. Yeah. If I have to. One time I one time I took mushrooms and I went to a party and uh, the song uh, what it's, it was which Eminem song was it? It was like <laughs> it was like without me or like uh, it it was just an Eminem song and every white person started singing it in the sort like on a level that I was like I gotta get out of here actually. Yeah, they're like, like their shoulders are moving too much. You know what I'm saying? Like they felt it in a like, way. Mom, that spaghetti. I was like, You're like Whoa. yeah. I was like I can't be around this. <laughs> I gotta leave. And sometimes country felt like that as well. It could really go either way. What's your favorite kind of white person? My You've told favorite. me some of your least favorites. Ooh. You, is there a white person you like? My favorite type of white person. Honestly, you're, I'd say you're in the mix. Me? I'd say you're in the mix. You know, because you know what it is. You know what my favorite... <laughs> Look at the sheer, look at the joy on his face. Look at the joy on his face. Guy like me. <laughs> look at the joy Guy on like his face. Guy like me waits face. his whole life to hear something like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, that's, yeah, I do feel like it's really high pro I feel like most white people are waiting for this, Not uh, me. this sort of, and that's, I think that's, I think that's where, <laughs> I, I, th I think, I think, I think that's what I like about you, because Caleb feels, um, because like, if I, if, if I were to bring you to a function, it was, and it was just you, and you were the only white boy at the function, I feel like you would, You'd move like not only I do I think you'd move through really comfortably. I think you would also like kind of be a hit. I feel like you would make like five new friends. Sure. Every every time, also every time I go to like a Caleb party, there's like there's the right amount of black people there. I would say. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're counting. Yeah, you're I mean, keeping track. I have I have a general sense, right? It's our producer here, you know about it. You know when you go you go to a function and you're like, and it's like a white person's party. And you know, sometimes you go and you go and you're like, man, there's really like, it's just me and one other person. You're always really aware of that. When I go to a Caleb party, there's enough black people around that I don't even really, I'm just like, okay, we're here. We're here and we're represented. It's not like, it's there's not a, just- There's a quorum. There's, a, there's a voting block. Yeah, exactly. Got and it. That's, and that's something, yeah. You, I think- You know what I'm saying? And it's like, even if y'all don't talk the whole night, it's like, you're like, okay, it might have to be me and you, you know? <laughs> It, it might have to be me and you. If something goes sideways. If something goes sideways, we just need to know where the exits are and where each other are. Yeah. Just to sort of, you know, look out for each other. I love that. I do that with fat people at the buffet. Really? Yeah. You going to buffet still? Brother. I thought COVID killed. <laughs> you think I, if you think I'm giving up on the buffet, you got another fucking thing coming. I, just, I will ride Golden Crown till the fucking no! wheels fall off. I will be in a Chinese buffet. No, what you eating at Golden Corral? Until the, anything they ask me to. Caleb, you got too much money to be I I will that Golden, ride Corral. Golden Corral until you the wheels fall off. You're making too much money to be eating that Golden I Corral, bro. Golden Corral, if you're out there, no. if you're listening, no. and I know Cut you the are, camera, bro. Golden Corral, if you can Cut hear me, the camera. I want to be, I want to be working with y'all. Get Jeff Foxworthy out of there. He was their spokesperson for a while. Was he? I didn't Jeff know that. Jeff Foxworthy. That tracks. You might be redneck. No, no, I'm familiar. If you're eating the Golden Corral, look, you I can do it. You don't think that shit went platinum in my high school? Uh, that Flugerville? <laughs> you, know, see, you don't think that shit went platinum in, right in outside of Austin? That's what. That's what people don't realize is like the country was it's right there it's just you know what i'm saying I know. it's like austin is like sure 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 but like you're never far from the country when you're in texas you're not doing a buffet huh you're not doing a buffet not at all? presently i grew up i grew up going to buffets and i hate to like abandon my roots and that changed i've certainly i've certainly changed, and, changed. I need, and i needed to uh, but i really why from new york it's forgetting who you are <laughs> That's I a pretty good. Hey. No, it was good. And I, it was good, and I hate that it worked. I hate that it. I hate that it was effective. I wish that one didn't work, but you know what I'm saying. Sometimes when you got one, you got one. Hey, Devin, maybe you need to start going live from Pflugerville <laughs> and get back in touch with your roots. No, you know what? That's what you were a Golden Corral guy. Yes, you were a Golden Corral guy. I was. We had this chain that I do not believe exists anymore called Ryan's. Oh, Ryan's. I know a Ryan's well. Y'all had Ryan's? That Ryan's salad bar? Yes. I was all up in there. We had Ryan's. That was very much like an after church Yo, yes. sort of thing. We were going to Ryan's after church or we were going to some lady's house and uh, she would cook and then we would watch like a VHS tape of a play that Tyler Perry made. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, was, I was watching the plays. Do you know what was going, do you know what was going platinum in my tiny little like mostly white Missouri town? What's that? Anything that Tyler Perry did. Really? Any Christian, rural white people yeah. love Tyler Perry. Interesting. He cannot back me up. Yeah, he yeah. cannot do wrong. Yeah. 
He this cannot do wrong. This is fascinating. Diary of a Mad Black Woman is on the television. You know what, though? You know what? Here's a question that I'll ask, though. Here's a question, because this feels important. Was it any of the movies with, that didn't have Medea in it? Or were the, was it specifically the Medea films? Oh, you're talking about like when... Because um, he, he does other stuff. What is he's, Jill Scott he's making, in? He's making a lot of stuff, actually. Jill why, Scott, the make the... Why did I get married? Why did I get married? Yes. Well, it's on. A crazy movie. It's on. A, nuts. A, a, absolutely. Nuts. And then the sequel's even crazier. Truly nuts. Me and my girl, we've really been clocking back in on Tyler Perry. Yeah. We've been really trying to... Because he's putting out... That's what I don't think people realize. At any given point, he has like 10 projects out like a year. Yeah. Like he has put it like he has like five TV shows on air. For sure. And he is the credited writer and director on every single episode. Yeah. And it's really easy to make stuff when you don't use union rules. <laughs> well. <laughs> Speak all yeah. When you're when you're paying somebody, when like, you have a compound well, in, in in Atlanta that you're not using union rules, yes. you can really turn stuff out. You're it's pretty paying crazy. Some like ghostwriter like ten dollars an hour <laughs> yeah. to like crank the scripts out. When you said you guys are clocked in for Tyler Perry, I was like, well, be careful because you're not gonna make much. <laughs> Be, just be careful, cause yeah, we not we not gonna get that. Yeah, yeah, we not gonna have a W two. The hospital you go to is not gonna be close to where you live. <laughs> I, I will say that <laughs> you'll be going to an urgent care in Jersey City if you're not careful. <laughs> be very careful clocking in. Tyler, hey, Tyler, man. what are we doing? He's making. I want you to watch. He's got a new movie out starring Megan Good. Uh, oh, I've heard called, about this. It's called Divorce in the Black. Yeah. I need you to go ahead and watch this, and I need you to check back in with me. I could probably do it right now. Do we, you want me to just pull it up on my phone? Bro, honestly, <laughs> honest, honest, just honest to God, if we, like <laughs> the opening scene is something, it's like, it's something to behold. It really is a thing where I'm like, oh, he's operating on like either, either a higher level than everybody else, or he's like try, intentionally undermining the black community. One of those- <laughs> You think one, he's a CIA operative? Truly, like yeah. one of those things is Honestly, maybe you shouldn't watch it because I was really watching that Tyler Perry movie and I was like, I don't think we should even let white people see this. <laughs> But you, you brought it to me now. I did bring it it's to you. It's on my but, desk. But honestly, as I'm talking about it now, I'm like, yeah. actually, maybe we should. Maybe this would just be for us. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stay out of it. You let me know which one. You think on it. Let me no, know where. At we're least watch the it. opening scene. Just watch the opening scene. Okay. Watch the opening scene, and that's I'll you don't you don't need to see the rest. What's your favorite movie all time? <laughs> Number one. You can't say Divorce in the Black or whatever that was. It's up there. Divorce in the Black, top five for sure. I don't know. What do I? What do I really like? I'm trying to think about like what I. Like what movies I grew up watching all the time when I was a kid and stuff like that. Well, we were know. watching a lot of Julia Roberts in my house. Oh, yeah. Anything Julia was pretty, doing. Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Oh, big time. Should not have been watching that at the age I was watching that. Yeah, same. I saw, I remember seeing Pretty Woman at least like the f first like 20 minutes or so when I was like seven. Movies used to be crazy because like that was a big studio rom-com. And it starts with them... It starts with her walking past like one of her like sex worker friends yeah. being killed in a dumpster. Oh, I f whoa! Do you remember that? No, I actually. And you're don't. like, whoa! Ooh. You watch it now, and you're like, this was a giant studio rom com. Yep. And they're like, she's literally like walking to work as a sex worker, yeah. and they're like, oh yeah, what's her name? Got her pimp killed her. Yeah. They literally say her pimp killed her and threw her in a dumpster. I do not remember that at all. That's how they start the movie. I have not seen Pretty Woman in a really long time. Like, I remember that George from Seinfeld is like a really bad guy in it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's a scumball. Yeah, he's like a bad guy. Shout, yeah. out, shout out to George. Shout out George Costanza. Shout out to George Costanza. Uh, my favorite movie? I don't know. When I was a little, when I was like 13, me and my buddy used to watch Wedding Crashers like every single day. Really one of the best. Yeah. Really one of the best. Really holds up. A lot we of used to make comedies. We really did. Yeah. Like that, I feel like all of that, all the, all the like Apatow stuff, Apatow and like Apatow adjacent stuff, like that era of guys, I feel yeah. like was really... It kind of shaped me, for better or worse. We lose so many of our big, funny guys yeah. to being, like, um, brooding, uh, yes. like, Republican-type guys. You've got to do, yeah. Like, Vince Vaughn, back in the day, he was like, he was like, let's, let's make some bad decisions. Like, he was so, like, funny and goofy and he's, quick with it. And now he's, like, just so, like, I, f I feel did like some dramatic roles. Did you see like Brawl on Cell Block 99? Uh, no, but I heard it's good. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. But I feel like that's the, it's the curse of the funny man. I feel like you, I feel like everybody's laughing for such a long time and then you start to like hang out with like fucking, I don't know, wh whoever you start to hang out with. You like meet Al Pacino and he tells you that you got to start doing some different kinds of stuff. Yeah. And then next thing, now you're like trying to get your Oscar movie off. Now you're like, oh, I actually just want to direct, you know? And Is then that you, happening to you yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Well, you're saying it with some people, knowingness. I'm like, what's who's, I just, who's I, in your ear? I just feel like, no, 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 this is not happening. People don't even really fuck with my comedy stuff yet. Shut it's, it's, up. We're working on it. It's it's a work in progress. But yeah, I just I just feel like that's what that's what happened to Jonah Hill. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. like you do enough comedy stuff. You kind of that's what happened to like. What we need Michael Sarah back. Michael Sarah, you know he makes music. Exactly, and it's pretty good. I have not listened. He to makes music. some folk music that What's, I am not mad at. He lives not far from me. And in Brooklyn? Yeah, we yeah. Used, I like see him around the neighborhood from time to time. That's a good neighborhood. I'd like to be over there. You should. Got the two of you guys? Move to New York. You know, I'm looking at places right now. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about this. Yeah, we'll see if it happens or not. You should. I'm going back and forth. What are you going to stay in Los Angeles? Well, this city is disgusting. Sure. And it's expensive. They all are. No. Not, I mean, not Kansas City and not Pflugerville. Shout and out to Pflugerville. Shout out Pflugerville. Mayor, Mayor of Pflugerville, if you're listening, I want a key to the city. I feel like. Give should, Devin the key to Pflugerville. I feel like I should have that. What do you got to lose? Also, Austin. I'd like that as well. I'm, Austin. I'm trying to get two keys. Hit him up. Yeah, please. Maybe we do Pflugerville, Austin, same weekend. Yeah. Well, I Saturday, could, Sunday. I could hit San Marcos. I could go to Hutto. Come on. Yeah, I could go to Bastrop. No, nah, I don't want to go to Bastrop. This is local humor for nobody. No, Austin. So I got probably, a lot of fans in Austin. Give it to them. Do Get you them. really? Terry Blacks. Why not? Say something like that. Yeah, Terry Franklin's. Blacks. I'm, per, I'm personally a Salt Lake guy. If you really if you really know about the barbecue scene, you, yeah. really, you know about Salt Lake because you got to drive like 40 minutes outside the city. Yeah. But it's a BYOB establishment. Oftentimes, they'll have like a up-and-coming country artist playing there. Is that and, the old white lady who's like 90 and she like... Does yeah. all the f fire coals? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. They're okay. Yeah. Okay. You're tapped in. Please. Okay. What do uh, you think of me? <laughs> <laughs> if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I love Caleb. I love you. You're uh, one of the. Fun I, I. You really are one of the funniest people working right now. I think oh, you're so funny. Stop it. No, I'm a huge fan. You stop know this. It. I. I really think the world of you. Stop it. I want. What do you? You know, I ask people on this podcast a lot. What's up? What do you want? Like, what is? What is the goal? Bro, truly, all I. All I want is to. All you do I want a joke. Is, I'm gonna kill you. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be. No, I'm about. To, I'm, I'm gonna be really earnest. Okay. I'm gonna be really earnest. True. Truly, all I want out of this game is like to, to have the freedom to do what I want. That's like all I really. I want to work. I want to work at shit that I like have to do until I only have to work on what I want to do. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, and I'm, you know, I'm still in that phase where it's like, now I just kind of got to, I got to take a lot of jobs just cause it's like, that's where the money's at, you know, but it's like not where my passion is. I want to get to the point where like, I'm just making the exact stuff that I want to be making. And I don't have to like ask a bunch of people for like money and like funding to figure it out. And I can like put my friends in the positions to like do the shit that they want to do. It's all like, all I really care about. Like, it's not even like a, like, oh, I want to be a movie star. Like, oh, I want to like, you know, I want to like be the biggest stand up work. Like, whatever, like, however it comes, like, I'm cool with. I like enjoy writing. I enjoy acting. I, I really enjoy stand up. Like, I like it all, but I, really just want to like make shit with my buddies and i just want to like be rich enough that i can that i can call my own shots that's yeah. like that's all i really want out of this game that's uh, same i've said since i started i don't ever need to play theaters yeah. i don't have like a like a like doing madison square garden or something is not mm -hmm. some big dream of mine no. my dream is to hang out with my friends whenever i want mm -hmm. and if i want to if i want to get on a plane to go somewhere for a week i can do it yeah i just want freedom that's all i want that's truly yeah and i feel like I feel like we're close enough that you like see people who are like a little bit further than you, but you're like, oh, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like we know people where it's like, oh, you've, you're actually free. And so it feels close enough that like I know it's possible, but. But it's kind of like hitting that perfect pocket though, because then yes. you also have friends. I feel like we're at the point where like you and I started out around the same time yeah. and have known like all the same people, I feel like. Yeah. And you also watch people go, they get to that point where they got it, and then they keep going, and then it gets yeah. bad again. Well. And then you're like, everyone knows you. You can't do anything. You're way too famous. Every minute of your day is booked for an entire year out. Yep. And then that, when I watch my friends go through that, I'm yeah. like, number one, so happy for you. I hope you're, I hope this is what you want. I hope you're getting everything you want genuinely. Yeah. But for me personally, I go, I want many rungs below that for me. Yeah. Like, I don't want to have my days booked out a year in advance. That stresses me the fuck out. It's a delicate balance, though. Yeah. It's a delicate balance. I'm trying to stop soon. Yeah? I'm, like, right where I want to be. I, I kind of feel that way. I'm, like, I feel like I could go up, like, just, like, ever so slightly more. Yeah. And then chill out. Like, I don't need to, I don't need to be Kevin Hart. No. That seems... Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm, no. about, I'm, I'm about to like do a thing for him, but like, so maybe whatever. No, you're not dissing him. You're just saying like, no. you don't personally need to be at that level of like. I don't need to be. I don't even. Want, I I don't yearn to be the biggest. I just want to be like settled. I just yeah. want. I just want like shit to be taken care of. That's all I really care about. Yeah, I want to pay my bills. I want to hang out with people I like. Yeah. That's another thing. I don't want to. I don't want to hang out with people I don't want to hang out with. 
And that's a big part of like, I think what we're both saying is like, we don't want to be like famous, famous. Yeah. I think that's what, cause it's like, we were talking about like politicians and it's like, I don't know. It's the more I've gotten around famous people, I'm like, oh, you're doing what a politician does more or less. You're just not like having people vote for you. You know, you are like so much of your job when you get around these like really famous people, so much of their job is just like making sure everybody likes them and like projecting whatever image you know what I'm saying? Well, like, the job the the job transcends your the art you got into originally, and yes. it becomes the same job as a politician, which is the job of public approval. Yes, your job is public opinion yep. and polling. Yep. I mean, I you know trying to make movies and TV shows and stuff. The number of conversations I have with producers and things that mm -hmm. are like, oh, that person doesn't have value anymore. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They've got lists. They're like, these are the ten actresses that we could really see making a movie like this. And if they're not on the list, it's like there's really no. Sure. It's not about who would do good at the role. No. <clears throat> Sometimes it is. I'm not saying everyone's evil or something, yeah. but I'm saying like it does. You get to this point where you are much like a politician. Mm -hmm. You're a favorable versus unfavorable number. Yep. And it has to be in a certain percentage for them to think like even indie movies now. You you try to get an indie movie made. I'm trying to get mine made right now. Yeah. And people start talking to you about uh, overseas favorability of your lead actress. Oh my god. Because they need to be able to do an international distribution to make back four million bucks. And you're like, what? pardon? Yeah. Like it just this. It's like. Yeah, you become a politician effectively. Mm -hmm. It's your favorability, and it's not votes, but it is like how many people would turn out to the the voting booth versus how many people would turn out to the theater. Yes, it's still the same. Yes. How much can you activate people? Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. I feel like in our industry too, though, it's so much more. I feel like it's so much more combustible because it's so much le like it's uh, not nearly as easy to predict. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I feel like every year there is like pro like. I genuinely feel like I'm like, if you let me and my homies make some shit, people will like it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like people will turn. I know we're not the names yet. I guess we're saying the same thing. Yeah. Or is this like, oh, I, I know maybe people don't know who we are. They don't know. Like, you know, we don't we don't necessarily have the bankability. But I'm like, I really I have so much belief in me and my people that I'm like, I think we could make something like that people would love. I think we can make something that would be like. I think you easily would. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's just like. I don't know. It's 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 kind of a catch twenty two because you kind of have to get famous for the people who make the decisions to like believe that you should have the resources to do the thing you want to do. One hundred percent. It's yeah. the worst part is yeah. being like, ah, I really should go to that party. Yeah, <laughs> I really should. I should go to that party. I really should in invest in more people. I should I should post that clip. I should whatever. I mean, we've talked about this a bunch. We talk about this a lot. But yeah, the posting particularly and the like building of attention for yourself. My least favorite part of the game is like I just want to kind of make a movie actually. Yeah. But just... no one wants to watch your movie if they don't know who you are. Yeah. It's not it's, it, it being a good movie or a good script is like okay. It's, it's kind of beside the point. Yeah. That's the thing that starts to bug you out after a while. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I could actually be the best, but like. I gotta, I gotta make people care about me before anybody will like buy into me being the best. Whatever. Well, it's going pretty well. You're doing very well. Yeah. Things are going well for Devin. Devin's on the up and up. I think so. Devin's stock is rising all the time. I hope so. I, I'm, I got money in. I'm, I'm in the ground floor. Hey, you and me. Hey, you and me both. I'm sticking around. Don't, you got like an indie that's out right now that you're in. Yeah. Yeah. That's like popping. I feel like I'm seeing your face everywhere. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. Keep spreading it. Okay. Put, put my face out there. And the people no, that movie is very fun. Yeah, I was yeah. that was a good one to do. I need to check it out. You haven't watched it? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Dear friend of mine. I'm a good. I'm a good friend. <laughs> Didn't catch it in theaters. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. You, and you saw all the sketches that I did on SNL. Yeah, I watch every week. You see, you seen all of them. I watch every week. Mm. I say, oh, what What's, are they gonna put? What was your, your favorite one that when I did? When you had that wig on. <laughs> When you had that wig on, this sure. is, so this is this past season. Yeah, you had that wig on, and yeah. you were just uh -huh. you were being so yeah, what was like I doing? you couldn't. It was you were like you were like uh -huh. you were like yep a slightly different version. Like you weren't playing yourself. Yeah. You were like a little bit of a different guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like current, and the way you tackled the like news of the day in it as well. <laughs> That dude, I was like, that's like some classic. No, you know what? Actually, actually, now that you're talking about this, I realized that I did see the short film that you were in. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? What I what, what, what you, you brought to the table, like as the friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gay friend, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna get me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I when, when I watched it, I didn't even think gay friend. I just thought friend, but that's just the yeah. that's the standpoint you're that I'm a progressive kind of guy, yeah. That's just who I am. Yeah, what'd you think of it? <laughs> Bro, I mean, really the the levity that you brought, right, you know, with sort of your you were kind of you were kind of pithy. <laughs> right. You know, you kinda of had some I was pithy. pithy you thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You know, sort of the levity nah, that you brought pithy. to a situation that could have been, it could have been. Nah, I brought you know, pithiness. <laughs> <laughs> Not I brought pithiness. 
not the, not the. I think did I use that word not right? The pissy I think delivery. I did. You did, <laughs> but it really, but it really, it really rang, it rang true to me. Yeah. I do. I serve pithy in you, the thing. You know, we were talking about movies we really liked. Uh -huh. I used to watch uh, Forty Year Old Virgin every day. I the, that tracks. <laughs> that tracks. That was a great one. I hate that. That was a big one. <laughs> used to watch Four Year Old Version every every single day with like my best friend who like lived down the street, and that's that's the that's where I, where I learned what the word pithy means. Oh, the, do they say it in that movie? They say it. I don't. In, I think we were watching the like uncut version. Yeah. So like sometimes there's parts that I realize that like everybody else didn't see because we were watching like the extended cut or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, there is that scene where Paul Rudd, shout out, shout out Paul, shout out Paul, Kansas City boy. Uh, brings Steve Carell all that porn, mm. and uh, he like is bringing him all this porn, and then uh, basically Steve, Car I'm not doing a good job of telling the story. No, but, ba but basically, uh, Steve Carell's like, oh, I actually don't want all this porn. I don't want all this porn. This feels bad. I, I I'm not into this. And uh, Steve Carell, or no, 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 Paul, I don't want to tell the story. <laughs> I've I've eighty I've 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 real ADD and so sometimes we're like when I'm in the middle of telling the story I'm also thinking about like two or three other different things yeah. and so then I kind of forget where I am in the story but all this to say they start talking about everybody loves Raymond they start talking about everybody loves Raymond <laughs> yeah and Steve Car and uh, Paul Paul Rudd because Paul Rudd's really sad because his girlfriend isn't into him yeah and his girlfriend ends up being uh, Mindy Kaling yeah and uh, he's like yeah he was like you know life's really not like everybody loves Raymond it's not like pithy dialogue that ends in 22 minutes life is like you know it's like a longer sadder version of everybody loves Raymond but it doesn't last 22 minutes it lasts forever yeah and that's where I learned about the word pithy I really wish I didn't do this I really no, wish I didn't no I, I, re I really wish I didn't tell that anecdote that one really didn't no I think we'll cut it <laughs> No, and, and and you and you would be right to, and you would be right to. I think you, I think you should. I really wish I didn't go on that. No, anecdote. I don't know. I thought the nine minutes where you recap forty year old virgin, like one scene of it was. I thought yeah, that was good for the part. I, yeah, no, I tried to recap one scene and I did it really poorly just so I could explain why I knew the w one word, the definition of one word. That, I thought it was compelling. That Paul Rudd said sixteen years ago. I'm I thought sorry. it was quite compelling. I'm sorry, so true, listeners. Don't be. Well, speaking of so true. <laughs> What's something that's so true to you? Oh, wow, wow. What's you so true? Wow. You know, you think this is a game to me, but I'm... <laughs> no, you did your research. I'm locked in, you clocked got a, in. You, I know the master's degree. You got on the Wikipedia. You saw where I was from. I know. No, my re my producer sends me a little document about every guest. That's really nice. Chance. Shout out Chance, who produces the pod. He's not here. Oh, okay. Shout him out in the camera. He's in L.A. But, you know, I, I, I take this very seriously, Devin. Okay. My okay. listeners know. The truthers know. No, I appreciate that. I'm not kidding around. Thank you for being serious about What's it. What's so true to you? <sighs> What's so true to me? I don't know. Should I, should I do a joke or should I be sincere? Oh, that's hard to say, huh? What do, what do people normally do on here? <sighs> Haven't watched the show. Okay. Um, <laughs> not watching my stuff. Again, a pretty good friend of mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you could go either, dude. You could go sincere or I feel like we've had a good mix, huh? Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's so true to me? We're all going to be all right. That's what's so true to you. We're all gonna be. We're all gonna be all right. Do I you like, think? I like. Well, not. I mean, not. <laughs> not every single one of us, but yeah. like, but like, me and you. Me and you'll be okay. Me and you are gonna. Be, we're gonna be all right. I, I don't know. No, actually, I think all of us and all of our artist friends. I think we're gonna be all right. Yeah. I think we're gonna be all right. I like have like a. Do you do you ever feel this way? I have like simultaneously have like. A great deal. Like I'm, I'm in impossibly pessimistic, and I think all of it is ass. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like we're gonna, like it's all gonna turn out the way that it's supposed to. I, I do like think feel very the way they're supposed to. I feel very zen about it, despite the fact that I hate it all. Yeah, yeah. It, it all being just the uh, this the, the 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 industry that we're the game that we're doing the grind and the hustle the grind and the hustle. I'm not really I'm not really into it, but I do think that it's like. I think it's going to yield something really nice. I think we're going to look back in five years and be like, wow, look at those two. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think also regardless of what happens in the like more technical sense, like sure. getting to be your friend is what makes it all worth it, you know? Me and Devin? I get to be Devin's friend? That's kind of worth it. I can't, I can't handle it. Don't I, you feel? I can't handle this. Come on. I can't. Don't look away from no, me. No, he's being... <laughs> 
I do feel. That was, that was, that was very you are, you're, you want to shy away from my love, but yes. it's here for you. Yeah, it's true. I think the friends, my... I think making the friends that we make in this makes it all worth it. I think like, you think about the number of people you know, mm -hmm. you know, all the people you love. Yeah. Gary and Alex. My boys. And all the people that you have, like Matt and love through comedy, all yeah. of our mutual friends. Yeah. It's like, uh, that's when I was really trying to decide if I was going to go do politics or like try to do comedy. Yeah. My whole thing was like, even if I fail, if I get nothing in comedy, if I never sell a ticket, if I never make a dollar off of it, I will spend my 20s hanging out with really cool people. Yeah. And then that's fine. That's a fun, that's a great story. Yeah. And I have a bunch of lovely people in my life, and then I'll go to law school or whatever. Yeah. And I am hoping that I won't do that. Uh, still at this point, I'd love to just keep doing this. It'd but be so crazy if you ended up going to law school. What if? If you told me you were going to, I'd be like mad at you. I got pretty close to applying to grad school three what? weeks ago. No. Yeah. That recently? Yeah. Well, because I was in Paris and I met someone who was in grad school in Paris, and I thought maybe I should do that. Wait a second. What's up? Speaking of Paris, go ahead. Can we talk about it? Wish we would. Can we? Okay. Bring it up. When you post, okay. Caleb posted on his close friends on Instagram. Uh oh. He was like, just he was like, just got wrapped up in a situation ship over here on my European trip. Yeah. And I was like, you gotta explain what's up, and he wouldn't explain it to me in the DMs. But can we, can we talk about it on air, or we gotta we gotta take it off mic? Gay people, <laughs> gay people, gay men. Yeah, it's not working out, is it? Gay men. Not for me to not for me to say, but I'll respect your opinion in, on it. Way in. Uh, what do you think, gay men? I, I'm. Hey, I'm. It's not I'm going pro. well. Hey, shout out to Alex. Shout out. Shout Alex. out to my guy Alex. Alex is a gay guy in the most technical sense. <laughs> Definitionally, <laughs> Alex English. Sure, you're in, a gay guy. In the in, in in the most important ways, I would say. Yeah, yeah. he's doing all the stuff. He is. But um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, dude. Gay guys are horrendous. Mm. Gay guys are guys, and that's yeah. That are gay, that are sociopaths, mm. that are. I don't know. I my whole point, I think, is like. <laughs> My love life, yeah. <laughs> my love life is a joke, and I'm the punchline. Yeah, and it's no matter what continent I'm on, because mm -hmm. I do that sometimes. I try to play with the continent. Yeah, I go, oh, I'll go to this continent for yeah. a little while, and then there's a different language, but it's the same kind of energy. Yeah, and then it's I'm still there, so sure. that I'm part of it. Okay, and then the coolest thing about gay guys is the way we have casual sex. Awesome, yeah. That's the coolest thing we do. It seems fun. It's awesome. You yeah. just get on your phone. Someone wants to have sex with you. That's amazing. God bless. God bless. Mm -hmm. But the, everything after that, for that, me, has been tough. Yeah. The relationships, the yeah. dates. So, yes, Europe, I had a situation ship. Okay. God love him. I wish him well. Okay. Do you think Do you think it's, you think it's over? Do you think you'll ever find each other again? If I know anything about my love life, yeah. exactly when I don't want to hear from this guy again. He'll be back? I'll hear from him. Where does What country does he live in? He lives in France. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And you know... I actually really don't know anything about your dating life. Well... We actually don't really... <laughs> I remember when I, I... You were about to go on a date the last, when I saw you in Kansas City. Or no, you had just come from a date. Yeah. Remember that? What was that guy about? You were not, you were not into it. I remember you saying he was like really hot but really dumb. Oh, he was really dumb. He oh, like, my God, that guy. Yeah, he had like, yeah. Well, do you know what happened? I haven't told this on here before. Okay. Do you remember what I told you about him? He had really bad politics? Well, not even bad politics. That I could work with. <laughs> <laughs> that I could maybe mold him. You sure, know, sure, I could sure. ma ma manipulate him into being mm. correct. He, we were at dinner, really, really hot guy in Kansas City. And I'm always looking for a Kansas City husband. Okay. We're at dinner, and he says, um, he says, I love Ethel Kane. Okay. You know how gay people are. And I go... And I go, sure, sure. I love Ethel Kane as well. I go, you know, it's, her music's great. Also, she's got great politics. She's very leftist, you know? Okay. And he and uh, I go, she's got great politics. She's very leftist. Mm -hmm. These are the words I said. Uh -huh. Ethel Kane, great politics, very leftist, mm -hmm. I say to him. And he he goes, like, he, like, like looks, bit look, he like bit, bites his finger and looks confused. He goes, mm -hmm. and I go, oh, did you not know that about her politics? Mm -hmm. And he says to me, this man, 27 years old. Uh -huh. He says to me, I'm just trying to remember if that's the good one or the bad one. <laughs> you, hate, you hate to see that. He was trying to remember yeah. if leftist uh -huh. was the good one mm -hmm. or the bad one mm -hmm. at 27 years old on yeah. a date with me. Yeah. 
Now you don't like that. Obviously, conversion therapy <laughs> is not something we support. Not me. But at a certain point, mm-hmm. not everybody can be allowed to be gay around me. Mm. Do you and, understand what and, I'm saying? And now you're sounding like Alex. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, now you're, and, now you're on, and now you're on your Alex type of time. I'm on the Alex. Of it all. <laughs> I mean, good lord. Uh-huh. I'm trying to remember if that's the good one or the bad one. I mean, this is a haunting thing to say yeah. to another grown up. Yeah. I almost offered to cut up his food for him. I was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? It was funny because, like, you you were like, oh, I'm, me and Caleb were both in Kansas City, and we were, like, planning to hang out, and he was like, I'm going on this date, and I was like, I'm not about to see Caleb. Caleb is about to be gone. This is going to yeah. be it. And then, thought I was going to be in for the night. And I saw you immediately after that date, and you told me that, and I was like, okay. I, I stand corrected. We played pool. Yeah. I believe I beat you. You did. I scratched on the eight ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no need to get into the details. <laughs> <laughs> just it be... wasn't. It wasn't an outright loss. We were, but we. I, if I remember right, we both were like really ass. We both were doing very badly. I think I. You tend to think in very granular ways, how the victory was achieved, <laughs> sure, sure, whatever sure. came before. Uh-huh, I'm you're a, a big picture. I'm guy. a headlines yeah. kind of big picture you, you guy. You zooming out. Ten thousand miles. You, you zooming out. You yes, up above. I'm a big thinker. I'm sure. I'm like an Elon Musk. <laughs> How many, I, who I love. How many kids? How many, you got as many kids as him? Oh, I wish. Yeah. I would love to have a couple kids running around. Me too. That's one thing straight guys really get to do. Yeah, yeah. It's less of a it's less of a to do. Well, because you guys will just accidentally have a couple kids. And I'm shocked I haven't at this point. Like I'm really I would love that for you. I mean, now if I had one, it would be like very into like now I'm in a stage of my life where it like is reasonable. You'd be a father. I you know what I'm saying? Do like, you want kids? Absolutely. Yeah. Especially like the older I'm in my I'm in my thirties now. I'm in my thirties now, and I feel like are you? God damn, you're old. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, I'm four years older than you. Sorry. Oof. I did not know that. I did I'm, not know I'm that. I'm four years older than I you. I thought we were about the same situation. What year, what year were you born in? I was born in 1995. I'm four years older than you. Yeah, 91? Yes. Ooh. What? You good? This is crazy. Are you okay? It's crazy. The people, there's people, as a person who was born in 1991, the people who were born in 1995 specifically, uh-huh. you guys really piss me off, okay. man. <laughs> you guys really, really what are we doing? piss me off. What are we doing? Because it's like, we were, all, we were born in the same presidential cycle. Yeah. We were born in the- Barely. Exa- ba- yes, barely. Barely. But we both will st- were still born in the Clinton administration. Yeah. And you guys talk, you guys talk to me like I was born in like- the set, you guys talked to me like I was born when Jimmy Carter was the president. Yeah. And I'm like, truly, I was in preschool when you were born. We're really, we're the same age. Yeah. But you guys talk to me like I am well, some sort of a grandfatherly character. Here's the deal. It's really, and it's. You were tec- technically letter of the law born in the Clinton presidency. That's right. However, mm-hmm. when I was born, when I came out of the womb, yep. you had ideas about the world already. I wouldn't say that's true. You had philosophies. <laughs> you could know, advocate for yourself. Uh, not in a big way. You were tying uh-uh. not. <laughs> Tying your own shoes. I could say if I wanted like spaghetti or fruit, yeah. like I could. Yeah, you were in Pflugerville running around. Was I? Yeah, I guess I was in Pflugerville. You were, by that point. you were running around in Texas. You had a whole life before me. Mm. And then I showed up. Yeah. And so it's a different thing. It's crazy. It's crazy. This happens a lot. And I'm like, we got to. We'll work on it. We, we, we got to. I got a segment for you. What's that? This is, I got some true or false questions for you. I thought we were almost done. You ever seen me You ever seen me do this before? What's that? No. Yeah, you don't watch the show, huh? No. <laughs> Damn. But I'm going to start. But after today, I'm going to watch this episode at least. All I do is love and support you, <laughs> and I can't get any. I'm uh, Every week, I'm tuning in uh, to, to television, Saturday Night to, Live. To see, to see me put the wig on? Once you get that wig to on. See, to see me put the oh, wig on. Once you get that wig the, on. To see me put the wig on and do I one of my. I will say, every time you and, hop on screen in and, that wig, and, I go, and, they and, made the right choice. What was the... <laughs> What was, what was the line that really stuck with you? What you was said, the line that I said that Well, really... of course, the classic one. Which one? Live from New York. <laughs> <laughs> when I see you do that, I go, I never could have done that. And they really got the right guy. <laughs> hey, this is a true or false segment, Devin. <laughs> I'm going to read you some statements. You're going to tell me as quickly as you can if you think they're true or false. Okay. Okay, my friends on the couch are going to keep track of how many he gets right. And uh, if you hey, if you get ten or more correct, uh-huh. I'm gonna give you fifty U.S. dollars. Wow, that's huge. You didn't come to Midtown for nothing. That's thank you. I'm gonna because that's how supper. much the Uber costs to get over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much the Uber costs to get over here. So thank you for. All right, Abraham Lincoln was a competitive wrestler before his political career. Uh, I'm gonna go true. True. The first book ever written on a typewriter was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. False. True. A giraffe's heart is the same size as a human's. A what? A, a giraffe's, giraffe's heart is, is the same, same size as a human's. True. Uh, false. They're two feet long. Fuck. Austin, Texas was originally called Waterloo. 
think that might be true. That's true. Yeah. Shakespeare invented the name Miranda. <laughs> False. That's true. What? Strengths is the longest English word with only one vowel. Strengths. False. That's true. What? Texas State University's mascot is Boomer the Bobcat. Uh, that is true. That is false. Boko the Bobcat. Oh, sure. You cow. Okay. Once uh, sure. a bear enlist. Oh, a bear once enlisted in the Polish army. In the Polish Polish army and made it to the rank of corporal. I believe that. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Facebook is older than MySpace. Ooh. Let's go true. That's false. Fuck. The 2000 Olympics took place in Sydney, Australia. That is true. That is true. The longest NFL field goal ever recorded was 66 yards long. That feels true. That is true. Rollerblading is the number one cause of death in Finland. Oh. True. False. It's heart disease. <laughs> <laughs> Tinder was originally a way for tennis players to meet doubles partners. False. False. As of 2022, Madagascar has a larger population than Australia. False. True. What? Wow. Four <laughs> is the only number spelled with the same amount of letters as itself. True. That is true. How many do you get? Seven. Dang. Out of how many? Out of like, I think there's like 15 in there or something. It was a big list. Yeah. I even missed the one about the university that I went to. Yeah. But it's not, we weren't a sports school like that. For undergrad. We For undergrad, yes. When you, where we, you did uni. Yeah, when I was at uni. <laughs> when I was at university. <laughs> Damn, I really wanted to give you 50 bucks, but um how many did I have to get? Right you're to getting those Ubers. Bucks? Uh 10. It's a tough game, but we mm. run a tough show. You understand? You have like two, do you have like two or three more you could throw at me? Just like off the off. I'll ask off you some top. of Jabuki's. Okay. Jabuki's coming in here next. I'll ask, ask you some of his if you're if you're interested. Oh, Jabuki's coming in? Jabuki's Why don't you let us in. do a joint episode? I the That's people what could the people not are handle trying that. to see. They could not That's handle the that. Trying to see. Oh, wait, these are Oh, wait, no, I can't do that with you. You came late. I got to we got to move. We got to keep it moving. Jabuki's getting here soon. We got to do Patreon. Okay. Let's do hey, Patreon. if you want to hear more from Devin, you should subscribe to the Patreon. Devin, is there anything you want to plug to the people? No, I have absolutely nothing going on right now, honestly. I can't, I just came off tour, so I don't have that to plug. How was the tour? It was it was nice. It was tiring, but it was nice. It is tiring. It was really Yeah, you yeah. You yeah. know, when you just like don't go home for like weeks at a time. Yeah. And you're just like living out that suitcase. You're just with the boys. Just going to like Ubers and hotels and yeah. we went to a Buca de Beppo. Like was living like that. Where? Uh we went to Buca de Beppo in Seattle. Yeah. It's different than I remember it being. Yeah. Worse. Truck, club, bus, <laughs> another club, another club, hotel, club. Exactly. And my girlfriend came with she came, so came to San Francisco and uh Portland. And I think she kind of thought it was gonna be like on some vacation type shit. And it was just like nope, we just we landed at two o'clock. The show's at seven. We got time to like set our stuff down at the hotel, get a meal, and then it's time for shows. And yeah. then you wake up in the morning and it's kind of like you know, it's always like time to go back to work when you're on tour. It's tough. Where'd yeah. you guys play in San Francisco? San Francisco, we did Cobbs. Fun. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. I liked it. I like San Francisco a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. I on tour though, Portland was probably my favorite city. Did you guys do Helium? Uh, no, we did uh, the Aladdin Theater. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Aladdin mm. Theater. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, the boys are doing good. Yeah, we're doing it. Right. I like to see it. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for being on. Thanks I think the world me. of you. Yeah. Thanks, man.